Okay, in this video, we have a player that's moving. So we wrote our script using horizontal. Um, vertical and jump. And let me remove this. And so you can see we have a problem. Let's make this like 12. And that's the fact we can jump in the air. So we need to fix that. And we actually have a script to do that. So let's go through it real quickly. Um, we already have our speed. And we have our jump force. But now, because we're going to control when it can and can't jump, we need to get the rigid body. We need to get the uh, physics of the player so we can start interacting with the world. So we're going to grab the rigid body. We're going to uh, give it a uh, variable name of RB. And we're also going to start the game off saying that the cube is on the ground, which is the player. So the cube, which is the player, is on the ground too, so it can jump when it starts. As soon as the game starts, we're going to use our variable to grab that rigid body. We need to have control of it and to activate it so we can then um, complete the rest of our script. And in this case, I've written a function, meaning that my um, method actually is down below. So when the game starts running, it's going to come down here and it's going to say, okay, I need to go find this method and run it. And this is the method. Okay. I can get rid of some of these lines. Okay, so this is the method. We already have our um, horizontal and vertical axes. So we've already got those. Um, we have the jump too, but you can remove that one um, because we're going to get it down here. So you can remove the one we had for the jump. We have our transform.translate, just like before, except we're removing <clears throat> the jump from here. So we don't want this activating the jump because um, we need to be able to control it. So we removed the jump part from there. And we just have the left, right, and forwards and backwards. Now we're going to use the jump. So in this case, we only want to jump um, when we push down the uh, space bar. So if we push down the space bar, we're going to jump and only if the cube is on the ground. Both of these have to be true. So if we're going to push the space bar and we're not on the ground, we can't jump. If we push the space bar, and um, we're on the ground, we can jump. If we're on the ground, we don't push the space bar, we can't jump. So both of these have to be true. If they're both true, we're going to um, add force, uh, vector three up. We're going to add force to the player so we can jump up. And this is our variable for the uh, amount of speed to jump up. And we're going to use our force mode to uh, um, add force to our um, player. So in this case, we're going to add force quickly to the player, and we're going to add um, ability to react to the player, um, to its rigid body. So once we jump once using this, then we want to set as false. You can no longer jump. It's no longer on the ground. Okay? Unless so now we're going to create another method. Um, and again, we're using collision now. So we're going to use the physics of our player to control this, meaning it needs to have a rigid body and a box collider so we can interact with the world. So if we collide, um, 
So that means if we're, a rigid body is touching another rigid body, if we collide, um, and so if we collide with a, um, in this case, what we're going to call ground. So if we collide with a game object, which is tagged as ground, then it's going to be true. So that means we're on the ground now and we can jump. If we're not colliding with a object um, that's labeled ground, we can't jump. We can jump once and that's it. It has to be, we can still move, but we can't jump. So it doesn't have to be the ground. It can be a stairs, it can be uh, some blocks we're moving up, etc. But they have to be, both of these have to be true. We have to collide with a object that has a tag of ground. And if it is true, then we can, uh, then we can jump. So let's save this. And that means we need to go to our player. We need to do two things. Remove this script. And put uh, jump grounded up on it. There it is. And then we need to go to our ground. You should have this labeled as ground. And we need to um, label this as ground. Tag it. So you, while you're clicked on the ground, you're going to add this tag, which should be here, and make sure it's spelled like it is in the script with a capital G. So now our ground is tagged as ground, meaning when I start jumping, I can now jump as soon as I hit the ground. And that's quite a jump. Let's, since it's a public variable, let's make it six. And notice when I jump and I try to keep jumping, I can't. So that's what we want. Our ground label is ground. Anything we label is ground. So we can have some cubes in here we want to jump up or climb up. As long as they're tagged as ground, <coughs> it'll work. So um, add that script, um, put it on your player, and uh, Let's see if it uh, jumps the way you want it to, and let's uh, build and run that and submit it to the uh, assignment so we can see it jump. And make sure you take your time with the script. We'll go over it more in class.